In this lecture, we will focus on attempting to define applied psychology. Knowing the answer to what is applied psychology can help you develop professional skills to succeed in the field. Applied psychology is the study of the human mind and behavior using psychological research, methods, and theories to address real-life problems. It is a practical discipline that typically validates several psychological theories to solve daily human problems, to increase quality of life, and make individuals more comfortable. The field also aims to improve people's welfare and mental health by assessing various stages of human development. Applied psychology is the application of psychological principles to solve problems of the human experience, including the workplace, health, product design, law, and more. There are effectively two types of psychology. The first is typically called experimental psychology and focuses mainly on research. The second is applied psychology. It puts that research to work to identify and design solutions for individuals and organizations. Applied psychology wouldn't exist if it were not for the foundation provided by experimental psychology. Now, if you're studying psychology in school or beginning your career, it's important to consider your feelings about experimental psychology versus applied psychology. If you're more comfortable working with people and organizations, applied psychology is probably the best path for you. If you're geared more towards research, you might pursue another avenue in the field of psychology. Now, there are many branches of applied psychology. According to FloridaTechOnline.com, there are indeed several branches to consider. First being clinical psychology. Clinical psychologists work directly with patients to diagnose and treat mental and behavioral issues such as anxiety or depression and eating disorders. Clinical psychologists can specialize in a number of populations from young children to the elderly and work in a variety of contexts. Next, we have industrial and organizational psychology, also known as I.O. psychology. Professionals in this field use psychology techniques and strategies to help companies become more productive. Typically, an I.O. psychologist will look at employees' competencies and job responsibilities. I.O. psychology can be used to help with hiring, employee productivity, performance management, training, and organizational culture. Next, we have forensic psychology. Forensic psychologists use their training and skills to support the justice system. A forensic psychologist might help determine if a suspect is capable to stand trial. They may also deal with issues of child custody and workplace discrimination. It's important that forensic psychologists be able to serve as a credible witness in court proceedings. Another subfield is sports psychology. Sports psychologists don't sit on the sidelines. They're part of the game. A sports psychologist must be familiar with the mechanics of sports and nutrition so they can help athletes and teams reach peak performance. They play a large role in team development and individual player rehabilitation.
Additional examples of applied psychology can include applications related to consumer psychology, school or educational psychology, military and political behaviors. So again, applied psychology is the application of psychological principles to solve problems of the human experience, including at the workplace, health, product design, law, and more.